My deal is, is that I make the hottest products on the planet Earth, period, end of story. What are you doing today? My name is Blair and I've come from the United States to show you a whole new world of spices. Blair Lazar is a man comfortable with handling the heat. Since 1989, he's been the chief chili head of Blair Sauces and Snacks and has a place in the Guinness Book. Today, Blair's company, Blair Sauces and Snacks, produces several million bottles a year of what he calls death sauces. All are marked with a cautionary label. This guy, Blair, makes this stuff called death sauce. It's unreal. It is the hottest sauce on the planet Earth. I put it in tomato juice. Oh, my head explodes. <laughs> and at times, they're similar to just, just fantastic experiences of all your senses awakening. Yeah, you want to flame it right off. It is great. Oh, it is it. Meet Blair Lazar, a self-confessed chili head who's been making his own brand of hot sauce since 1989. In 2004, Blair Lazar produced the hottest sauce ever recorded and landed in the Guinness Book of Records. Cook it and cook it and cook it, where all the other impurities are removed. It's hot. It tastes like uh, sticking out your tongue and smashing it with a hammer. It's too big bottles of hot sauce, similar to something you're going to buy in a Japanese supermarket, believe it or not, are not even close to as hot as this one little bottle of my after death sauce. I really can't tell you I'm excited about this, guys. All right, you're doing funky things on the bottom. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not loving this. That's what it's all about. Travel, enjoy the extreme, live with passion. This is an extreme sport. Eating eating our hot sauces in a lot of ways is just that. It's a sport. It's a challenge. It's not just sitting down and having a you know a cup of tea. So now they go in, they're on these conveyors, and they're shooting down and straight right through, boom. They go right into the slicer, boom, 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 boom. Fills right into our uh, our oil. A mixer then circulates the chips in canola oil for nearly 12 minutes. A popular game with Blair's chips is chip roulette. At a party, mild flavored chips are put into a bowl with just a few habanero chips thrown in. <laughs> Just like that, I put it right on top of that rice. Hey, what's going on? We're in Edison, New Jersey right now. We're about to go inside Harold's world famous deli to meet Harold Jaffe, the king of deli. This guy built sandwiches a mile high, makes 8,000 pounds of pastrami a week, 8,000 pounds of cornmeal a week. Come on inside, let's go have some fun. No, that is not a UFO. That is a potato pancake. Unbelievable. Now, all of this food is, of course, approved by the American Heart Association. Of course, of for course. Daily consumption. I, I have. To me, this is it. You know, live and live and enjoy. I, I, I have to have about 50 cardiologists a week come in here and eat. They say everything is moderation. <laughs> Everybody has a thing. It's, for me, it's hot sauce. You know, that's my thing. I do it best. I do it the best. I'm not the only guy in the world that's that's insanely passionate. I believe I am the most passionate about hot sauce. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> my world is very special. It's a, not all, but it's a lot of people who run companies of different scopes, sizes, magnitudes, products, what have you, that are really doing it to the top. They're doing it with a passion. If it's really your passion, everything else will come into place. People, people know it's real. I've always been a person that I don't believe in limits. I don't believe in them. I don't believe in following anybody else's course. You know, I'm, a, I'm definitely somebody that, you know, love me, hate me, but remember me, you know, and I, I'm going to make sure of that. 